Hello and welcome back to TF3. I am Statman Dave. Today on Football Explained, we're going to be talking Chelsea. More specifically, we're going to be talking about how Conte can replace Diego Costa in his team. We're going to talk potential transfers. We're going to talk formations and Eden Hazard as a false nine. But anyway, let's get started. First up, Conte could go with a false nine, replacing Costa with Hazard through the middle and playing Willian and Pedro either side. This could be quite an interesting change and it's how Lionel Messi became the player that he is today moving inside and it could be something that Hazard does to great effect. For me, Hazard is similar to Lionel Messi in a lot of ways. Statistically, in terms of the passes he completes in the final third, the chances that he creates, the dribbles that he completes, the same, the same rate to the same numbers of Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi did start at Barcelona as a wing and was moved inside and it completely revolutionised him as a player. And I feel like Hazard could do the same thing. With Hazard's great dribbling ability and ability to carry the ball over distance, moving him into the central dangerous area of the pitch can, could cause opponents real problems. Instead of being out wide, Hazard drifting past opponents. Being central means that if you you know you beat a man, you're going to get a shot on goal. And that's what Eden Hazard could do as this false nine. We saw him operate there against Leicester City in the Premier League, again with Pedro and Willian either side. And those three were absolutely fantastic. It's a different approach to Diego Costa's battering ram style. With the three forwards, they were combining well in between the lines, and that's how Chelsea were creating opportunities and chances. Obviously, Eden Hazard was the star man. He created more chances in that game and completed more passes in the final third. And of course, the great assist for the Marcus Alonso goal. Great awareness from Eden Hazard, knowing that Marcus was getting into the area, laying it back off to him and him slamming the ball home. But what I feel with these three forwards up top, it gives Chelsea another dimension in their attack. They've got a lot of powerful players in there in Matic, in uh, Victor Moses, in Alonso. Pa powerful dribblers. And with those three amigos... Um, operating off the opponent's back four. Again, massive opportunities to play through balls, especially from those inside runs from both William and Pedro. On to number two, Conte could potentially bring Fabregas back into the side, whether it be at attacking midfield, false nine, or in central midfield. Let's quickly talk through each one of those options. First up, if Conte did return to the 3-5-2 that he played at Juventus, Fabregas potentially could be the defensive midfielder. I feel like energy-wise, Matic and Kante work very well as a two in an attacking sense and a defensive sense. Potentially what they could do is provide the cushion to protect Cesc Fabregas. We all know Cesc Fabregas has a great range of passing. Some of the assists he got last season for Diego Costa, um, you know, the balls over the top that he's played, his great range of passing there, and he could do that at defensive midfield. Or potentially if Chelsea wanted to slightly change their system again and go with a 3-4-1-2, Fabregas could be in behind two forwards, be it Michy Bashuayi, be it Hazard, Willian, Pedro, which opens up so many passing lanes for Fabregas to find that through ball and get Chelsea the lead before dropping back into an organised defensive shape. Finally, again, as false nine, Fabregas played false nine at Barcelona and for Spain in their successful World Cup campaign, and that's something that they could do very well. Azard is a very good option at false nine given his dribbling ability um, and ability to create and, and score individual goals. Fabregas is a slightly different false nine in a way that he would receive the ball, usually would lay it back. Possession is going to be maintained with Fabregas in that position, but also if he gets turn, gets his head up, then he can get into the penalty area. He did that successfully for Barcelona and for Spain, scoring a number of goals playing that position. On to number three, what if Conte replaces Diego Costa with another striker? Maybe Bashuai could come in, but again, unfavoured under Conte. Has made pretty decent impact off the bench this season for Chelsea, you know, coming on and rescuing some pretty big points or turning a draw into a win in the early stages of the season when Chelsea were playing a uh, 4-3-3 and they did move to that 4-4-2 with Bashuai on the pitch. But it just looks out of favour. There's rumours that he, he's going to get moved on as well with Diego Costa likely to move over to China. Chelsea are probably going to have a lot of money in that transfer kitty. And I feel that Conte will go back to Italy. There's two players that I think would fit perfectly in this system. First up, let's talk Belotti. Belotti is very much a two-footed striker. If we break his goals down this season, he scored five with his right foot, five with his left foot, and five with his head. So he's very, very dangerous from any situation. But also, Belotti puts a shift in. In terms of defensive work under Mihailovic, Belotti leads the Torino press. And that's something that Costa does so well for Chelsea. So replacing Belotti with Costa, you'll get a similar forward, one that makes tackles. This season in Syria, Belotti has averaged over three tackles per game, which is very, very good for a forward. 
Alternatively, if Chelsea want to splash the cash, they can go to Milan and sign Icardi. Icardi has been one of the best players in Serie A this season and has been directly involved in more goals than any other player. Scoring 15 goals and getting 7 assists. He's becoming an all-round forward, but potentially won't give you the defensive work that Costa's going to give you, but he'll make up that in for his ability to finish. He scored some pretty incredible goals this season, all really, really clinical finishes. There was one that he scored against Lazio, I think, that was just an unbelievable move. He came in onto his left foot, fainted to shoot, came back onto his right, fainted again, and then pulled it onto his left and put the ball on the back of net. It was absolutely incredible how he kept his composure in the penalty area and slid the ball home. In the last three seasons, only Gonzalo Higuain has scored more goals than Icardi, and he'll be perfect for Chelsea if Diego Costa moves on. But anyway, guys, that has been that for the video. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to the front three. And in the comments below, what do you think Chelsea should do if Diego Costa moves? Hazard at false nine, Fabregas at false nine, Fabregas into midfield, or potentially bring somebody in, be it Akadi or Balati. But anyway, see you later, guys.